Hi there, this is Jeff Gross from CRMFYI, and I'm here today to show you how you can use Visual Force inside of standard pages, even if you're not a developer. How you can display cool text like this right here, where you see, look ma, cool text in Salesforce using Visual Force, and I'm not a developer. Here's how. What we have to do is we have to create a Visual Force page first, and that's easier than it sounds. All you got to do is just open up a new tab like this, and go back over this part here and just type after the salesforce.com slash apex slash I'm gonna call this reg because we're gonna put in this regulatory information that we want to put in there and I'll show you that in just a second you'll see that a visual force error comes up but that's okay all you gotta do is create a page because that page doesn't exist yet I'm gonna click that It'll create my page. I can insert the text I want to put in there, and you'll see exactly how that works. All right, so my new page is up here. It put in congratulations, which is just some generic text it puts in. What I really want to put in there, I've gone over here in something called Spiderweb Logic, and I've gotten this cool stuff here. I want to say, remember to check out state regulations, Minnesota, Texas, and Oklahoma. And I've even gone in here and put in links behind that. I'll show you how to get that soon. All I have to do is click Edit HTML. That gives me all of the HTML in there. I'm going to hit Command A, Command C to copy that. Then I'm just going to go ahead and switch back over here into my Salesforce page. All I got to do is I'm just going to go right over this. I'm going to paste it right in there. So now one other thing that you have to do in here is because I want this to show up on my account page layout. Right after Apex page, put your cursor right over, right before that greater than sign, and I'm going to put standard. And all I have to do is just type that standard controller and hit enter, and it'll fill in the rest. And then in between those quotes there, I want to put the word account. All I have to do now is hit save. And look what I see in here. I see remember to check out state regulations, Minnesota, Texas, and Oklahoma. All I have to do now is go back into my page layout, hit edit layout, and when I go down to Visual Force Pages in the section here, look, I've got this thing called Reg, and I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. I've got my section at the top here. I'm going to put it right above this one that says Spiffy, which is the one that showed the other text you saw in there. All I have to do to change the size of that is click the wrench there. And in here, I'm going to make it actually about uh, 40 pixels high. Say OK to that. And now all I'm going to do is hit Save. When it renders, take a look at that. Right in there, and I can click on it, and look what it does. It opens up a new tab, and sure enough, I've got the state of Minnesota. Look at that. You can easily put in text like this, even if you're not a developer. All you have to do is what's called inline visual force. Really simple. The tools that you need is to go ahead and just create a new Visual Force page, and that's all you have to do is after the salesforce.com slash apex slash whatever page name you want to create, put in whatever text you want to create. In this case, I used HTML that I generated out of something called Spiderweb Logic. When I displayed the HTML, sure enough, there it is. That's what I saw. I copied that, pasted it into my Visual Force page, and then just added it to my page layout. First off, I want to thank Mike Gerholt for having this question, and I was kind of tenacious in wanting to figure out how it would work because he was looking for something like this, and I really wanted to help him, but I didn't know how to do it myself. Next, I went to Geraldine Gray, and I want to thank her for the assistance she gave. And finally, I want to thank Michael Farrington, who also was a great help in this, helping me figure out, figure out the uh, standard controller part of that. If you have any further questions, check out Mike's blog post about this. Good luck with it, and this is pretty cool stuff. Enjoy.